So this is what's underneath the salt cedars. Longtime resident Bill Kerr is a former volunteer firefighter. It wouldn't take much for anybody to drop a match or anything and this thing is gone. I mean, it's, a, it's almost perfect conditions for it to burn every year. He has seen firsthand how the salt cedar trees can cause devastating fires for the region. But the salt cedars is what was really starting the fire. And this is where it jumped, the, uh, jumped over and went over to the east and was heading toward the Rainbow Valley area. Kerr also owns a dairy and worries that if something isn't done with the river bottom, the region will see more than fires. The overgrowth of trees and brush could cause major flooding. It's really dangerous fire-wise and then when the rivers come and, the, and the, we do get rain, which we will get rain again, then we've got issues with flooding and then people getting out there and drowning too. So we just need to do something with this river bottom. Yeah, it was pretty scary to see that much water coming down the river. Landowner and former dairyman Bill Luke remembers the 1980 flood. It took so many hours. All the neighbors would move from one dairy to the other. We'd have maybe uh, 20 or more trucks and trailers hauling because even the, some of the Phoenix dairymen would come out and help just to make sure that everybody got their cows out before the floods hit. Fire Chief Bob Costello says the trees are denser than ever and without an immediate solution, the fire and flood concerns could once again devastate the valley. Hopefully people recognize the seriousness of this. Um, if we can prevent uh, further catastrophic events like we've had in the past, it would be great. And the sooner we can start, the better it would be. I know we can't fix it all at once, but if we can get on top of it, we can begin to mitigate the fire concerns. And then certainly with that will come the plenty concerns. For more information, visit www.gilariverprojects.com.